Welcome everyone to this video. Today we are testing the free version of Avast. And I do have a folder with a bunch of samples of malware. We have 176 samples in total. And so we will be using these samples to test how well Avast does or does not do as far as protecting us against these specific threats. If you would like to see Avast versus ransomware specifically, go ahead and hit that join button to view that video. Now the procedure will be as follows. In a moment, I will enable all of the shields or the real-time protections. We'll let Avast sit for just a few moments to see if it can detect anything on its own, after which we will run a system scan, and then if there's any remaining samples after that, we will scan the samples folder directly. If there's any samples remaining after that, we will then try to execute them and see if the real-time protection can stop them. Now before we turn the shields on, let's go to account, and let's go to settings. And then underneath general, we're just going to go ahead and check for updates. And we are now up to date. And just note here underneath update, we do have the default settings selected. And just real quick, we do have the default notification settings selected. Under exceptions, nothing added. App permissions, nothing added. Troubleshooting, we have the default settings enabled. See down here at the bottom as well. And then privacy policy, did uncheck all of these, uh, but that should not impact anything as far as our test. At this point, we're going to go ahead and enable the protections. At this point, all of our shields are enabled. And so let's just review the settings uh, underneath uh, file shield. You can see it's enabled. These are the default settings. We are going to switch to this recommended setting for potentially unwanted programs. So I'm just going to select that one. And we will leave it on resolve automatically for now. Uh, so please be aware of that. And then let's review our other settings. Again, we'll just stick with the default on these ones. Exceptions, no exceptions added. Uh, web shield, again, default settings, no sites added, no exceptions. Ransomware, our protected folders. And we're just going to go with the default settings here. So you can see them there. App permissions, none added, our firewall. We can see that it is active. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and just let Avast sit for a few moments, see if it detects anything on its own, and we'll be back here in just a moment. So far, I haven't noticed anything pop up. Let's check our samples folder, 176. So it looks like everything is still there. So at this point, we'll minimize that and we'll scroll down here. And let's go ahead and run a deep scan. And we will wait until this is fully completed and we will be back with the results. The scan has completed and it came back with 164 results. So let's just take a look here. Looks like we've got several Trojans, a couple ransomware. Uh, let's see if we keep going down, a couple adware. Uh, another ransomware, and a miner. So let's go ahead and click on select all, and then we'll click on secure all, and then we'll click on done, and let's check our samples folder. And it looks like we have 29 remaining results. So at this point, let's go ahead and scan directly. A direct scan came back with 25, and so if we scroll down, we can see those. We'll click select all and then secure all. And let's recheck our samples folder. Looks like we have six remaining. So at this point, we'll go ahead and execute the remaining samples. At this point, we'll go ahead and close everything, restart the computer, and run some second opinion scans. After restart, I ran a scan with Malwarebytes, which came back with nine results, and so this is the results that were found. We'll go ahead and quarantine these. After another computer restart, I ran a scan with MZSoft. This one came back clean with zero results detected. So just a quick recap, when we let Avast sit for just a few moments, it did not detect anything on its own, but when we did a deep scan, it did detect most of the results. It detected some additional results when we scanned the samples folder directly, as well as some when we uh, began to execute them. There were some that got through and Malwarebytes was able to clean up the rest of those. Please keep in mind that this is just one type of test. There's many, many different types of tests and so Avast very well may perform differently in other types of tests. Regardless, you can take these results and draw your own conclusions, but that's everything for this video. If you have any comments or questions, please post them down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider sharing it. And if you would like to support the channel, please go ahead and hit that join button, the subscribe button, and that bell notification icon to get notifications on future videos. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day.